Hello and welcome. I'm going to walk you through my new journal that I'm going to start using tomorrow as I go back to work. So I'm actually looking forward to Monday. <laughs> How weird is that? Um, I made this journal from an old placemat, so the cover is a bit soft and it's um, I've glued this sort of fabric-like paper from a gift bag onto the placemat and then decorated with bits and pieces from a scarf and, you know, ribbons and stuff. And a button to hold it all together. On the insides of the cover, I've put belly bands with these little notebooks tucked behind them. And I'm not sure what to use these for yet. I, um, I've put inked paper inside them. Um, I'm thinking perhaps uh, there are things like throwaway notes that I don't want to keep in my in the journal part of the journal. Um, so I can write that here and then, I don't know, <laughs> put somewhere else. Or um, I travel a lot to work, so when I wait for the train or when the bus is packed and I can't really work with this big clunky book, I can bring out the small notebook and write in it. So, I don't know. I, I think we'll, it will come in handy sometime, but I'm just I'm waiting to see when that is. Uh, first, the first page is a pocket for my calendar. Just a regular overview of the semester. I've left this blank. Um, I use a kind of tweaked bullet journal system, but I don't like the index. I don't read the index. But I have left this blank because I might want to add an index when the book is filled in, because then I know where everything is so I can write it down for future reference. But while I'm using the book, I prefer tabs instead of leafing back and forth. So we'll see. Maybe I'll just put a quote here. I don't know. Um, as I said, I use the bullet journal system, but tweaked, and I mainly tweak it to fit with the get things done system, which I love, um, with, uh, you know, the, the division between projects, task lists, and someday maybe um, lists. So these pockets and this belly band is for work projects, so this will just be a list of all the things I have to do at work, the big things, projects, courses I give, courses I take, so on. Uh, and a ruler in case I feel like being neat someday. And this is for home projects. Um, yeah. And perhaps also task lists and someday maybe lists. We'll see. So this is a little leaflet. made from inked paper. Um, this is also a leaflet, but for uh, my cabin life, we have, me and my husband, we have a cabin uh, in the woods, so we have projects there as well, and I need a separate leaflet for it, because otherwise I'm overwhelmed. And speaking of overwhelmed, this is the most important thing in any journal, the brain dump. Um, just because my brain is full of things that need dumping <laughs> and I need a special pocket for that. It will fill up quickly, I'm sure. This is a bellow band for... Well, I'm, I'm putting lists of remedies here for when I'm tired or feeling ill. I want a list of things I can do to... Uh, feel better, ground myself, all those things, like drink water, take a shower, eat something. Uh, this is a pocket for gift ideas, uh, payment 
um, plans and passwords and things like that. Uh, this pocket I'm going to use for creative ideas, so everything to do with writing, um, junk journaling, photography will go in here on separate pieces of paper uh, that I will keep <laughs> in here. I will have a stash of inked papers here so I have something pretty to write on. Uh, and the reason I don't write on the pages is that I actually have a separate journal for my creative projects because it takes up so much space that I would fill the journal completely before I even started on the work bits. So, um, you know, I have to compartmentalize a little bit. Uh, this is for another area of life. Um, we live in a cinema or rather in the same house as an old cinema. And sometimes we host concerts and other events in there. So I need a pocket for ideas and a checklist. Uh, I haven't filled it in yet, but I'm thinking, uh, you know, when we do host an event, we need a checklist to make sure we don't forget anything. Like one month before, what do we do? The week before, what do we do? What do we do on the same day? The hour before it starts, so on. And uh, the good thing about having it like this in a pocket um, is that on the weekly spread of the, you know, when when the event is approaching, I can put the checklist in a pocket there instead of here because I, that's an important thing. I I like to keep everything gathered on my weekly spread, which we will come to in a minute. This is just the cover page for August and a quote. Uh, this will be my first weekly spread um, and the thing, the main thing that hasn't worked for me um, in the bullet journal system is the leafing back and forth. So when I start my day tomorrow I want everything to be here and I mean it's I've tried using an A4 book, but it's too big and clunky. So how do I fit everything on one spread? I've tried Dutch doors, I've tried everything. So now I'm going to try um, using pockets or maybe paper clips or something, but I want everything here. So this might be a pocket, I don't know yet. Uh, and in this pocket, I put my tracker. Uh, and my task lists for, well, different work projects, let's say that I have four different projects to do. These are the task lists and I keep them, when I don't need them, I keep them in the job pocket over here. But when they're current and relevant, I put them in the pocket for that um, weekly spread. Um, and also, you know, if I have something, if I have a meeting and I need to take something with me, like notes or something, I might be able to squeeze them in here as well. So, um, that's my sort of solution because most people, I think, put their trackers on their, or in, in relation somehow to their um, monthly cover page, but again, I don't want to leave back and forth. So um, I'm trying this out. I might get back to you and tell you how it went. So this page, I think, will be the actual days and this will be the pocket and maybe something, you know, inspirational or a picture or something on this page. So I guess that's it for now. Um, Thank you for staying with me, if you did, and see you. <laughs>